Yeah, so I've been involved for about five years and basically I came to the training because I noticed really significant changes in someone very dear to me. And whilst I wasn't in any way open to the training, I was open to the changes that I'd seen in him. <laughs> um, and so I sort of started listening to the talks in secret. Um, I wouldn't admit it to anyone. And um, that was totally pointless. I saw that. But what I did find was immediate um, relaxation. And that was desperately what I wanted. That was desperately what I was looking for. I was working in a corporate job in London and it was completely everything that London entails. And I was just, I was just really tired. I was just really tired. And so I came to Goa um, because I wanted a break. And I came here for six months. And I remember coming to one of my first open meetings and the trainer said something about being right or being happy. And I put up my hand right in the middle of his commentary, not waiting for the questions section. And I said, I want to be both. And he said, and he said, how's that going for you? And I was like, oh, yeah, good point, actually. Not well. <clears throat> and so I thought, I'll, I'll stay around. I'll, I'll just be a little bit open. Because basically, I was brought up. I had a really lovely upbringing. I had an amazing family. And I went to a school where I was taught to be strong and independent. But part of that was being stubborn. Once I knew my opinion, I was going to stick to it. I didn't know what my opinion was, but I had opinions. And um, yeah, so when I came to the training, then I, you know, everyone was sort of like, you know, be open. I was like, be open? Like, oh, crikey, right, okay. And um, I, I had all sorts of ideas about what complete openness meant. And it was really lovely to hear the commentary today thinking, oh, yeah, I feel pretty open, actually. You know, I, I hadn't realised how restricted I was in my openness. And actually, over the years, I've really noticed with the amazing support of the Four Mainstays that I can just, just be me. And all of that, that entails, like, I'm really, you know, I'm a bit weird. And that's OK. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, finally, you know, like, and I thought, oh, God, does that mean we all have to be really weird? No, actually, we can just be us. And what I really noticed with, with short moments is that I had no idea how to take them in the beginning and, and that was okay and I was totally welcome anyway. And, and I was sort of thinking, I was like going away behind like a building or something and like blinking, like <laughs> taking short moments and like, but turns out I don't have to do that. So that's good. Um, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, with the training, I just, I remember a very dear friend said to me, let's just do a one day training, Maddie, just come along. And then I remember sitting there and then just thinking, OK, right, I can just sit here and listen. And, and that's beautiful. And then it came to the writing the value letter. And I was like, oh, I'll just write a thank you letter like I do at Christmas or something. Yeah, fa <laughs> thanks for the lovely day. And then, I, and then it came to like reading them out. And I was like, no, I'm not reading it out. I'm, I'm English. I don't share my emotions. Um, but it's still, what I loved was that I was totally welcome, even like that. And then over the years, it's been really nice to see that now I basically write essays and I'm still welcome. Um, <laughs> so that's really lovely too. And then with the trainer, my trainer is just the best. I just was really worried that she was going to try and change me in some way, that she was going to try and dampen me down, like, maybe it's time to calm down a bit, Maddie. And, um, yeah, that hasn't happened. She's totally lighting the fire, um, yeah, underneath me. And she's like, I feel like this hot air balloon. I'm just, like, this is amazing, totally supported. And then the community. The community was the last mainstay that I... Um, allowed into my life. I basically, I was saying to someone yesterday, it took me two years to go and have lunch in the Clarity Cafe. And I had no idea what I was missing out on. This is the most amazing, most supportive group of people ever. And I had no idea that I would just be totally supported in all ways. I have had, you know, I've had, life goes on and I have been married, I'm now divorced, and I'm totally carried, totally loved, and so supported. And it's just amazing. It really is. 
and, um, and I'm just so grateful. I just, it's just amazing. So thank you all very much.